Hey gang, welcome to Travis Tuesday. It's December 9th, 2008, and you're watching the MuseCast. We've got a lot to talk about. Uh, this is my new office. I just moved the other day, so it's a little bit uh, cluttered. Apologize for the mess. First things first, the fate of the MuseCast. Um, I think the general consensus was that most people want to see the MuseCast go on, but they're also comfortable with um, following their favorite MuseCasters from, uh, who are doing it now onto their personal channels if uh, they want to continue um, updating their careers that way. So I'm going to put out a casting notice uh, on a couple different sites, Craigslist, uh, nowcasting.com, maybe lacasting.com, uh, but we're certainly not restricted to LA. And I guess not even restricted to the U.S., so open to all entertainers. Uh, the only real trick is going to be you have to be able to make a, an interesting video, uh, and also you need to be at a place in your career where something big might happen uh, within the next year. You think you're really at kind of a tipping point, and, um, and that's what we want to capture if we can. For tonight, I want to show you something a little different. Uh, last night when I was here in the office, I went online and there was a casting notice for a voiceover role, uh, and the role was someone who was a James Earl Jones sound-alike. Now, um, I always thought I kind of had a decent James Earl Jones voice, and, you know, I, I've quoted some of his stuff, and I was sound, in my head it sounds like it's decent. So uh, I went ahead and uh, recorded a uh, an audition. I videoed it uh, on the iSight because I didn't have my camera set up yet. And I also wore headphones to record it in GarageBand. So what you're seeing is the video from the iSight, the audio from GarageBand, and I spliced in some scenes from Field of Dreams. So here's that. Uh, until next week, take care. I will see you guys in seven days. Bye-bye. And they'll sit in shirt sleeves on a perfect summer afternoon. And they'll find they have reserved seats somewhere along the bass lines where they sat when they were children and cheered their heroes. And they'll watch the game. And it'll be as if they dipped themselves in magic waters. The memories will be so thick they'll have to brush them away from their faces. People will come, Ray. The one constant over all the years, Ray, is baseball. America has marched by like an army of steamrollers. It has been erased like a blackboard, rebuilt and erased again. But baseball has marked the time. This field, this game, is a part of our past, Ray. It reminds us of all that was once good, and it could be again. Oh... People will come, Ray. People will most definitely come.